Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by wolfwebdesign.co.uk uh, Today we're going to be covering creating a fav icon or fave icon if you want to call it that way um, to go on your website which will show up on both tabs and uh, bookmarks that you save for example um, as you can see with the bookmarks we've got the little icons There we go. So what our aim is today is to generate that and upload it uh, using no particular special software that you have to pay for, just stuff that you might already have knocking around a computer, such as a Microsoft Paint. So first things first, we're going to create a little icon, and what I want to do is just simply copy the orange icon there. This icon. So if we use Microsoft Paint, first thing we want to do is change the attributes so that it's completely square. So let's keep it 363 by 363. And the reason we want to do that is because the generator that we we will use will automatically scale this image down. Um, and if it's uh, if the proportions aren't even, it could skew the actual image. So very quickly, you'll notice that I'm just going simply with the orange. Like I said, very simple. There we go. Right, cool, very simple. Let's save it. Let's save as, let's just call it fav for now. So it'll be fav and it'll be saved as a JPEG. Let's save that. Now what we want to do next is turn that into an icon. Um, and the way we want to do that is to go to favicon.co.uk and on the left here you'll see the favicon generator so we'll click on that and that will bring us to this page here we will browse for our image which was fav there we go so let's open that and we want to save that size as a 16 by 16 pixel icon so 16 by 16 image chosen oops uh, let's generate it there we go so all that's done now is just change JPEG into an ICO file and it's scaled it down for us so if we click on that and save it there we go jobs are good so what we want to do now that we've saved it is we want to upload it onto our website. So I'm making a few assumptions here. Um, the assumption being that you know how to use FTP as you've uploaded your website already. And the assumption being that you have some sort of HTML editor that you've used to create your websites already. I'm just finding my icon. So that's where I've downloaded the icon to so I'm going to upload that into the directory of the page there we go so that's there now what we want to do now is insert some coding into our header of our HTML page and we can get that and copy and paste it on the favicon.co.uk website again if you simply click on what's next you'll see some bold writing highlight that right click copy go into your HTML editor let's get rid of the one, that one so in our head between head and the head close just paste that coding that you just copied there we go now what this tells us is that we're going to link to an icon and that icon can be found on the favicon.co.uk site and the icons called favicon.ico now at the moment if we save that and upload that page what it will do is that on our website it will generate the little F that's on the favicon website but what we want to do is to upload well is to um, change it to the orange one that we created which is here 
So the way we do that is just simply make a note of the URL that this would have uploaded to. In my particular case, it's in a subdirectory off of my root folder. So I'll change that now. Oops. There we go. Now, the reason why there's two lines in here that are almost identical is because of um, certain issues with certain browsers, browsers not being able to read it. So it's more of a compatibility thing than anything else. So if you just make sure that both of these lines have got exactly the same URL in it, then we're laughing. So let's save that, upload the latest file. go and so if we go to our tutorial.html site that we've just edited the code on and hit refresh then a little icon will have changed and that is how to create a favicon and implement it into your website by using nothing more than favicon.co.uk and Microsoft Paint thank you